everybody, and welcome back to another episode of FTB Skies Let's Play. It's been a minute, and I know I say that every time I start this, but it's true. It's been a while. Uh, gonna wait on this little loot B and see if they drop anything. Uh, but then, we're just gonna pick back up where we left off. There's really no point in dwelling on the past. We are looking towards the future. So we left off with some industrial four going. That's kind of the path that we were going down. Uh, we got all of our, I think that loopy is just going to fly away. I don't think you dropped anything for me. It's fine. Uh, we left off around um, getting a plant farm up, like a, a crop. Ooh, can't get up there. A like crops and everything. So a plant gatherer, a sludge refiner. And then we came down here and we had some latex going uh, and a little bit of crafting with the dissolution chamber and the latex processing unit. So we're just going to pick right back up where we left off on that. I need something to till that soil with. Uh, do I have? Yes, I do. So there was an update to the pack, so I had to make a new instance in my uh, multi MC that I use uh, so you can see a lot of stuff is different this looks really cool I like this so new textures on some stuff um, I had to redo some of my keybinds so you might hear me every every so often like clicking a button that I don't mean to click or opening something that I don't mean to open uh, that's just because I have not figured out where all of my keybinds need to go back to. I could probably just copy those folders over, but I don't want to do too much that might mess up the new instance of the mob folder. So we're, we're just going to leave it the way that it is now. So the next few things that we need to do with industrial foregoing, if I come through here again, uh, we need to make simple machine frames. That'll get us, in, get us into plant fertilizers, uh, hydroponic beds, mycelial generators, and eventually we'll get down into like the mob crushers and animal husbandry stuff. The main thing that we're going to focus on trying to get is this laser base. That's kind of what we've been building towards. And the reason for that is to be able to get more of the flowerite and uh, sulfur and stuff like that to continue our process on the, um, what should we call it? The reactor up there. These guys are doing a good job. Like, I don't think I've had any issues. I haven't really gone up here to look. I might go up there later and find out. Let me grab my charged porter and we'll just head up there. Uh, to the generator. Let's see how you're doing. So every so often it's going to get sulfur, it's going to get flowerite, it's going to get stuff. Uh, so it's, it's going well. This is completely full. Uh, this is completely full of fissile fuel. This fissile fuel is burning, so there's really not much that we need. Uh, to do by means of keeping that generator running, but there might be some other resources that we can get out of that laser base. Um, so like the uh, ore laser, the laser drill, and the fluid laser uh, can get us some resources uh, that we may not typically be able to get in any other way. So by putting like the laser lenses on it, we can get some other super cool stuff that we might need going forward. So like here you can see we can get sulfur ore, diamond ore, uh, stuff like that. So flowerite, so like a light gray and a yellow would be the two that we could use. Uh, also, speaking of these bees over here, I'm still trying to do the thing. I've got a 58% metaternal um, gene sample. So I've been coming in here every so often and just looking for anything that's yellow is behavior. So this is a dineural, so I really don't need that one. But anytime a yellow one pops up in here, because I've got these guys um, that are all 
uh, that I got switched over to Metaternal, and they've got uh, gene samplers that are extracting genes from them. So every so often I'll just get a Metaternal and I'll add it to this. I'm waiting to just get it up to 100%, because once it's 100%, it's 100%. There's no chance that it'll fail and you have to start over. Let me grab some food. I thought I had a backpack that was supposed to be feeding me. I hear zombies. So I think this just has to be in my inventory. mining helmet there's also some really cool like new textures for like this kind of stuff that came along with that pack update uh, anyway so we need to make a simple machine frame I think is what we need to do in the dissolution chamber so that is going to be plastic iron gold gears so let me just go ahead and put this recipe in here And that should get me a simple machine frame that I can then come down here and just put in my dissolution chamber. Right, that's how you make it. Simple machine frame dissolution chamber. So let me see if I can do a simple machine frame. Let's start crafting. And simple as that. So simple machine frame in our inventory. That is a quest complete. But there's no reward for it, so that's fine. So the next thing we need to make is an advanced machine frame, which is going to be basically the same thing, but it needs pink slime, and pink slime comes from the mob slaughter factory or centrifuging pink slimy comb and to get that we need a pink slimy bee which is a regular slime bee with pink slime added to it and you get I'm assuming I don't have any pink slime I do not. So how do you get pink slime? I think it's going to be coming from that mob slaughter factory. I think is the only way to get it. Without also just having already had... Yeah, so okay. So we do need to go down the mob slaughter factory route. So I was going to try to not have to make a mob farm. But it looks like we're going to have to make a mob farm to get that pink slime generator going. Um, so what do I need to do to make that? So Mob Slaughter Factory is going to be all of these items, which it does not look like I have any of. So I need a Pity Machine Frame. So we're going to throw that in there. We're going to need two Iron Swords. One, two. We're going to need two Iron Axes. We're gonna need some plastic, which I think I can just ask you to make. So we'll just go ahead and make a handful of plastic and a gold gear. Which I think I've taught you how to make if I just do that. Yep, all right. So that should get us a mob slaughter factory, which is gonna be another quest unlocked, which once again has no rewards for it. Uh, okay, cool. So the Mob Slaughter Factory kills mobs, destroying their drops, and instead making meat and pink slime. Passive mobs reproduce more pink slime, so you should automate breeding them. So passive mobs. So that's where I need the animal husbandry, so the animal feeder, and the um, baby separator. So we're going to work on that next. So animal feeder... I don't have anything of that uh, animal feeder. So let me do some gold carrots. One, two. Animal feeder also needs an iron gear. Let's go for the cheaper recipe. I don't know why there's two recipes in here. I need apples. Interesting. I thought I had some apples. Can I put them in here? Yes. Yes. 
Let's see, gold apple and purple dye. And another petty machine frame will get us that. And then the baby separator is almost all of the exact same stuff. I need a bit more plastic. Another machine frame if I didn't already make it. Another golden carrot. So now we're just waiting on plastic to craft. Am I waiting on something for plastic? Who makes plastic? My ultimate smelting factory, which is one of you guys. Smelting factory should get plastic, so why are we not making plastic? Who makes dry rubber? Latex processing unit. Why is my latex processing unit not latex processing? Because I think it needs water. All right, give me a second. I'll be right back. Okay, so I didn't realize that, yes, it needs water. So I just have this constantly exporting water. So let me get a like stack and speed upgrade to put in a fluid extractor. So that way this will just stay full of water and we can just constantly get tiny jar rubber and plastic. I didn't realize that it needed water. That was weird. Um, so let me just put all of this back. All right, so what was I working on trying to make? was a mob slaughter. So I got the animal feeder, I got that. Uh, I needed the baby separator. Which, once again, has no rewards. Does, it, I mean, <laughs> does nothing in here have rewards? Did I mess something up when I upgraded this? Where's all my rewards? Those have rewards. These don't have rewards. Those have rewards. Some of this has rewards. Did it take some of the rewards out? It's weird. I'll have to check that later. Because some of the stuff had new rewards. Like when I came in, I got some stuff that said that I had rewards to collect but didn't have rewards. I don't know. Alright, so I'm going to let's break this because I'm just going to put the uh, mob slaughter factory and the animal feeder. I'm just going to put along this stuff right here. So I do probably need more fences 
because they're gonna like be able to jump up on top of this so mob slaughter factory animal baby separator but this doesn't actually s like this doesn't do babies that this doesn't actually make babies this just makes regular like full-grown mobs so not entirely sure what we're gonna do about that but let's just make a small area here is that one two three four let's do five We'll just grab some dirt or grass. We'll grab a few pieces of grass and some dirt. Grab a building gadget, some dirt. And can I make more fences? I haven't taught you how to make fences. Let me just do that real quick. should make me like 30 all right we'll do that let me grab these fences once they come up actually yeah i'm gonna fence this area in obviously And then the separator is going to go here. Uh, animal baby separator. Moving babies, moving adults. But I got to put this up here. And I think I need to turn that around. Um, I have like a wrench or something that I can maybe turn this around with. There we go. Okay, so I need some, like, work upgrades, I think. So what are range... Oh. Uh, range... Range add-on. Let me just try this. Alright, so that should cover that whole area which I don't want it to do, so that's that's too big. So let me craft one of these instead. So I'm gonna take that back out. We're gonna put the smaller extender in here. That should kind of constrain it down to this. I might even need smaller than that, we'll see. But then, So it's saying this is the working area. So it does have a thing where it might need power. So let me try to run some power to this. Um, let me just grab a flux point. Flux plug, flux point provides energy. I'm missing obsidian dust. I thought I had something to craft it obsidian dust. chamber just takes obsidian so where's my enrichment chamber ultimate enriching factory okay 
right, so let me grab, we do this. Obsidian equals one obsidian dust. Here to my enrichment factory. I will pop you back in there, and then I should be able to get a flux point. my flux point so I'm going to put that on this guy so that it's just like the middle one right here set you to the power network cool so now all the animals are separated to this side and then that should just, I think, start spawning more animals, and then eventually it'll just move them again. Yeah. All right, cool. So then the slaughter factory. Is gonna go here. So let me put some more fences here. And then I can just pop this guy out and put this fence here. Mob Slaughter Factory is going to start making me pink slime. Fantastic. I'm just going to grab some cabling. ones do energy it's mechanical right cable just cable uh, basic universal cable it shouldn't need to be too much so I'll just pop you here and we'll just run you slightly different way because I am eventually going to need to well I can just do this and then what am I using for logistics also um, pipe pipes ultimate mechanical pipe is what okay so mechanical pipes is what moves um, liquids but I shouldn't need that Instead, I'm going to put an importer on the back of you, and then I'm just going to run some cable down this way, probably just over to you. Where's the easiest way to just tap in? over here somewhere just like that and then you're gonna import fluids probably because once you start getting pink slime all right so I do need another range
show working area. I'm gonna hide this working area. So hopefully, I mean, the thing on that is that it does look like it's coming all the way out to here. And are you slaughtering or are you moving? I think you're slaughtering. But let me see if I can get some, like, a few tiers down. I don't want it to work that big. So, range upgrade. Range tier upgrades. So what have I got? So like a three, maybe even like a two. Tier upgrade. Let me grab a range tier two. And I'm just going to put this in my. So range tier two. How big is that? That's all of inside of that. Cool. All right. So am I starting to get pink slime yet? We have pink slime. Cool. So how do I get pink slime balls? Pink slime balls in a dissolution chamber with a glass pane. And I guess some water. Yeah, okay. So let me find my dissolution chamber right here. Throw you back in there, pink slime. We'll just start with one for now and see if that works. Yep. We come back down here to industrial foregoing. What was pink slime meant to get me to? I feel like I needed pink slime for something. Wouldn't have just been making that for no reason. <laughs> but we've got it now, so that's fine. Um, so this should just keep working. Uh, let me get another range two. Because I'm just going to get another range two and put that in here so it only works in that tiny area. Oh, pink slime. I needed because I was going to get a slimy bee. Um, so let me grab a honey treat. Because with that, I can just come over here and I do already have a slime. This guy. My temporal pouch, which I need to keep in my inventory. I'm just going to speed this guy up. I need a bee cage. To grab you. Then I'm going to come in here and I'm going to put you down. Give you some pink slime. You are now a pink slime bee. Awesome. So, I, I'm... <laughs> I'm fairly certain I needed pink slime bees for something. Not 100% sure what I needed that pink slime for. Uh, probably to make the lenses. Is that what it was? I don't even know. <laughs> oh, that's right. I needed pink slime liquid to make the advanced machine frame. Cool. So I'm going to do that super quick. All right.
we should have enough time to cover that real quick. And that once again goes in the dissolution chamber. Do you know how to make gold or diamond gears? You do. Cool. I think the only thing I really needed was like netherite scrap, which I think I have. Pretty sure I have some netherite scrap in here. Uh, anything else I might need to teach you how to make? You, do I need to teach you how to make simple machine frames? I think I already did. So we're going to come down here. This is going to go in the dissolution chamber. To get an advanced machine frame. That gets us an advanced machine frame, which doesn't have a reward. I've got to look into that and find out why I either don't have rewards or maybe these never had rewards to begin with. Or maybe the update got rid of some of them. I don't know. But point is, now we are one step closer to our laser bases. So that's going to wrap up this episode. Um, might be... A little bit shorter than typical but we got some stuff done and i'm really like i said wanting to get get back into um producing videos again uh, i'll talk about more of that in the next episode while we are also uh working on some other stuff i just wanted to get back in the groove and just get some stuff going so thank you all so much for watching and i will see you next time later